Amun had a human form, with a head crowned with two feathers standing upright, or he could be a human with a ram head. He had also taken the form of a complete ram, for the ram was a sacred animal of Amun. He was mentioned earlier in the pyramid's texts as an eternal god when he was connected to El Ashmonin octonary theory of creation. Amun's cult reached as far as the whole Egyptian territory as being the formal god of the country. He was also compared to god Zeus in Greece. Herodotus, the Greek historian, has written that the ancient Egyptian religion has attracted the Greeks. On the other hand, the Egyptians repelled from the Greeks' religions. The Ptolemies, starting from King Ptolemy I, tried to establish the foundations of accordance between the Egyptians and the Greeks living in Egypt then, the thing which might serve the political benefits in the country. The fame of Amun's oracle in Siwa reached all the Mediterranean regions since the beginning of the 26th dynasty, which started in 663 BC and ended in 525 BC. But if we wanted to follow the origin of this oracle, we have to assume that it had started sometime during or before the 21st dynasty. This was the time when the power of the priests of Amun and the prophecies of that god reached its peak and played a prominent role in religion and in running the government in Egypt. It's quite possible that a temple dedicated to Amun-Ra was constructed in Siwa in those days and later it became a center for an oracle which could be depended upon. During the 26th dynasty's era, the fame of Amun's oracle became widely spread in the Libyan desert. <laughs>